There we go. Alright, let's throw some carbon on them people. See, it's still, I got a lot of resin on there. It's wavy, uh, it's, the glass is floating in places. That's alright, let's just let that saturate. Because now when I squeegee it, I'll have resin coming up from the bottom. I use me a pattern to cut out this carbon. I cut my pattern pretty close. So I just won't have a lot of scrap, you know. saturate this cloth. The carbon is kind of stiff at first and as it gets saturated it loosens up a little bit. Beautiful man. Some guy made a comment the other, the other day. He said, Don't you ever stop? No, I can't. I can't stop. People all around, around the world, man. I just <laughs> you get together a lynch mob. I'm gonna put out a video. Let's go find him. Want to come rescue rescue me from the Chinese sweatshops? long scraps here I'm going to save them and put on the bulkheads I mean my spars running through my wings Spreading this out. 
Now we kind of want to get that first layer flat, right? We want to just work it for a little bit. Just want to work it, baby. Still got a lot of people wondering about them walk-up wings, people. <laughs> people, we just had to do what we had to do. You know, it seems crazy, but it sure beats putting out a set of wings that ain't right. You know, and sometimes you got to take the long road just to make your journey more successful, you know. Just like I kind of had to make up them elevators out of glass, you know, it's just, sometimes you just don't know, I mean, this is uncharted ground here, people. <laughs> Get them edges past your, where you're trimming. That is a must. If you don't, it just, when you're trimming it, it just unravels your cloth and it just gets ugly. Just gets ugly. And you end up with a frayed edge and a bad seam and it just looks terrible. Then you gotta put a bunch of bondo in it. soda and I can sand that baking soda off and a lot of times don't even need no bondo. And you end up with a lot better glue joint. Because if you don't get a good glue joint and you just try and fill that seam with bondo a lot of times it'll crack. You know and just look terrible. Okay, I got that nice and flat. Now see, I didn't even have to put no resin over the top of this. And plus I pulled it up through the bottom, which gives you, you know, a better saturation. But I can tell, I got a bubble right there. See this carbon, you can't see them bubbles like you can your fiberglass. But you know what it should look like, you know? 